Welcome back YouTube to Beer Yet, day number 185 and I've got from the Grand Ridge Brewery I've got their Sarsaparilla Stout limited release so yeah brew number one and it's bottle 5913 I do believe it's 4% alcohol so it's a light it's 1.1 standard drinks Sarsaparilla Stout was crafted to marry the sweet, earthy, herbal flavours of sarsaparilla into a delicious dark malt profile. Pure sarsaparilla and lictorous roots, along with the naval English hops, have been used. Moderate alcohol content delivers a session beer with a difference. This is sounding promising because I love bloody sarsaparilla. Yeah, and they, I think... They're South Australian, I'm pretty sure they are. Nah, Victoria. There we go. Stuffed it up again. Yeah. Let's get into it. Ah, yeah, not there. <coughs> Smells uh, a bit like sarsaparilla. Nah. A bit like a stout, but it's got that sweet sarsaparilla. Maybe even a bit of caramel note to it. I'm trying to pick. Mm, maybe a tiny little bit of. Sounds a bit molassesy too. If that's even a word, molassesy. You got a little bit of kick straight up front. Disappears within about half a second. Then on the top of your palate, on the back, you get the after the sarsaparilla taste, and then what I'm feeling on the roof of my mouth right now, and down the back of my throat, is a nice mild um, coffee. Yeah, coffee flavour, straight up. Yep. A nice little bit of bitter, so you know it's a beer, sarsaparilla sh straight away, like, um, yes, yeah, the sars you know, everyone is that sarsaparilla, um, and then just like a really nice roasted coffee right at, right at the back, so that's done pretty well, and, and it is a light beer, but it's full and full of flavour, let's see how well it goes, we can get a bit of a head on it, maybe. Okay, so it's not a like what do I call it? It's not exactly a stout stout. I mean, the head of the beer is a bit light and fluffy. It's an off caramel colour, as you'd expect. That probably looks black in the beer, but it's a really really dark brown. It's more of a what would you say, sarsaparilla <laughs> look alike. As I say, it's definitely a session beer. I could drink a thousand of these and wouldn't get sick of it. Tiny little bit, just a really, really little bit um, bready that leaves as well. You're actually drinking a sarsaparilla beer. It might be on the tad. But maybe if they might have... Um, Nah, maybe up the ante a bit on the alcohol content and a little bit more of malts, but then it wouldn't probably be a sarsaparilla beer, would it? That's been pretty good. I'm going to have to give that... Mm, it's a toss up between three and a half and four. I'm going to give it a 4 based on that they said it's sarsaparilla or it tastes like sarsaparilla and it's a beer. The only down factor I can say is not as much alcohol content, therefore it can be a session beer. But it's just, I think it's lacking a tiny little bit of bitterness. It's not sweet. They could just have done a bit more. It's definitely better than your, like your lychee and your um, mango beer. Definitely like that. Um, a different, totally different flavour, but they've, not, they've nailed it. You, 
You could probably pour this and give it to a kid who shouldn't do that. But I think they're probably drinking fucking sarsaparilla. A good way to put them to sleep, I say. But anyhow, people, that's been beer year. Day number 185. Go out and get yourself one of these if you're in Australia. I don't know if you can buy them in the US or the United Kingdom or Japanese, wherever you're watching Antarctica. Who knows? But anyhow, just be kind to one another. And I'll catch us on the flip side tomorrow. Hopefully, with another. I've got a couple of stouts this week, so... It won't be a stout week. Who knows? Anyhow, people, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow.